one in a million. A two-year-old Florida girl living with an aggressive form of cancer might just have gotten a life-saving blood donor. An anonymous donor from New York has met very specific criteria for donating blood to little Zainab Mughal, who has been diagnosed with neuroblastoma. The results were very bad and she was diagnosed with a high-risk neuroblastoma and we were all crying and this was like the worst thing we were expecting. The woman gave birth two weeks ago and had been storing blood in case there were complications during her pregnancy. When she had the baby, she donated the leftover blood to Zainab. The baby has a rare blood type, missing an antigen called Indian B, which most people have in their blood cells. That means the donor also has to be missing that same antigen and be of Indian, Pakistani, or Iranian descent. Or else, doctors say Zainab's body will reject the transfusion. Officials say the search to save Zainab has brought them a pool of new donors. That's also sort of increased the diversity of our blood supply. We have donors that may never even thought about donating that are donating now for the first time, and we may identify them as a rare donor. And now this is an opportunity to take that now newly identified rare donor that we may not have seen had it not been for this you know, wonderful call to donors. Even though this may look promising, the FDA still needs to approve it. Donations that are designated for self are not allowed to be used for others until they clear it. FDA blood regulations also prevent a woman from donating blood for at least eight weeks after giving birth. Zainab does need enough blood for the foreseeable future, even after she receives a transplant. So the push is on to continue to find more potential donors to save this little toddler's life. What you're doing to save a human life, to save my daughter's life, is amazing. And once my daughter grows, and I'm gonna remind her, you know, that the effort was made for you, you know, to save your life when you were a child. If you'd like to help out, head to oneblood.org. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.